And certain people have called me to ask what my opinion is. I initially, I didn't want to talk about this man called um, David B. Omen. By age, you will be 60 something, if I'm not mistaken. It only means we are within the, the same age bracket, if I will count very well. I don't know whether you enjoy the grace of God at the level at which you are, or it is some of those things that you people do that we know that we don't want to talk about. I don't want to go, I don't want to talk about the things you people do. I don't want to talk about it. And I think from your experience as a church leader over some decades, you've seen a lot of Pentecostal churches doing a whole lot of terrible things. And I don't think there was a time any white garment church came out to condemn them, to abuse them, or to do something. There are certain people who go into their DM and talk to them. It doesn't matter which denomination they belong to correct them and say these narratives are wrong. But the word he used, the 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 G O D B D B O man, the word he used, I hate. Shouldn't be coming from you. Let me give this to you. I think, I think, put me in bracket. I think you are a GO of repute at your level. And hearing your followers, hearing you saying you use the word I hate, I don't think that is reasonable for a church leader to speak derogatorily about another denomination. Do we use what some Pentecostal pastors do to adjudge that all Pentecostal churches are frauds? Do we use that as a yardstick? Do we use what some of your irritated people do and say you commit adultery, you do this, a whole lot of scandal on social media? Have we ever used that to adjudge the body of a Pentecostal fellowship as a whole? If you fall victim of one or two individuals, it doesn't make you to condemn every other individual. And you don't use the word hate. As close as Judas was to Jesus, he still betrayed Jesus. It only means within every denomination you have the black sheep. Even in your denomination, there are black sheep. But for you to now come out and say, I hate the white garment churches. Do you know the meaning of hate? And you a religious teacher. And when Jesus came, he said, I did not come for the righteous, but the sinners. Why don't you show them the light with love? Why don't you preach the ministry, the gospel of Jesus, which is love, that all may be one. And you want, to, you want me to see you tomorrow and love you, respect you. And go check very well that your church where you are the G.O. 80% of your members are one-time members of the White Garment Churches. I make bold to say that without reservation. And some of them do have beautiful experience, you know. And even up till now, do you know 70% of those your church members who you do GO over still come to the white coming churches? Don't live in a fool's paradise. And don't live on illusions. And if you're in a glass house, you don't cross stones. Celestial Church of Christ and all white garment churches belongs to Jesus. Our fathers came from Africa. God called them from Africa. Their origin is in Africa. What you carry today is a mental slavery. It's a recolonization through religion to Africa. Upon the mantra and the mandate you carry, which is the Pentecostal Fellowship. All white garment churches, CAC Church of the Lord, Zion, CNS and Celestial Church of Christ. Our fathers are deep-rooted Africans who were called by Jesus and through them God did wrought many miracles attested to all over the world. And today those churches are still working stronger. Don't forget Act of Apostles at the Council of Jerusalem. He said, if this is of men, it will perish. If it was of God, don't let us see you coming against God. And you know we know what you guys do. Don't forget we know. Deeper things you do. I don't want to go into that. But time is going to tell. Don't forget, we know. But as a leader, as a church leader, as somebody who a lot of people look up to, I think you should be careful about the things you say, about the speech you give out on social media or on other platforms. And the word hate 
is not of God. And I think you will deserve an apology from you. I know you don't care, but don't worry. Sooner than you expect. Those things you people do that we know will come into the open. But don't forget the motto of Khan, that all may be one. White garment churches belong to Jesus. On the mandate of Jesus will stand. On the covenant of Calvary will stand. And on the mantle of Trinity will stand. Irrespective of whatever, whatever anybody says, will stand on that mandate. And we'll continue to talk about it. So everybody and those who know David be your man, tell him there are certain red lines you don't cross. And I think you just crossed one. Don't forget, no matter how big you are, God is bigger than everybody. God bless you.